The Republicans should look at the elections last night, and it should be a giant stop sign for their tax bill. Where did they get clobbered? In the suburbs. Where does the tax bill clobber middle class and upper middle class people? In the suburbs. So we are saying to our Republican colleagues, if you continue to try and eliminate the state and local deduction, you're going to kill suburban legislators who are already in trouble because the suburbs don't seem to like Donald Trump. So we say to our Republican friends on this tax bill, as Clint Eastwood said, you want to pass this tax bill? You want to hurt the suburbs? Make our day. Make our day. Last night was historic in the numbers. Look at the numbers. Look at the women, the way the women voted. Look at the uh, narrowing of the gap among uh, uh, blue-collar workers, a much smaller margin, much smaller margin among um, seniors. So across the board, the electorate paid attention to what was happening. And what they see here, what they see here uh, coming out of this, ta this tax uh, debate and what they saw on the health care debate was not in their interest or the interest of their families and they voted accordingly and they voted overwhelmingly Democratic. The door is certainly open for us. Uh, in 05, right now, we had President, uh, uh, President Bush down to 38 percent. That's approximately where President Trump is now. That opens the door. That means we get the fresh recruits and they get the retirements. We get the A team and the candidate is very important uh, in the elections. In 2000, I was head of the DSCC and you could smell a wave coming. The results last night smell exactly the same way. Our Republican friends better look out. So many people in Virginia were upset with the way President Trump has tried to govern, has been unable to get anything done, has resorted to tweeting instead of leading, that yes, I believe that this was a rejection not only of President Trump, but of the policies that he and the Republican Party seem to be adopting.